Hi everyone, it's Danny, and today I'm filming my top blushes. It was going to be top five, but then I had three honourable mentions, and I thought I may as well include two more, which I do love anyway, but I just didn't want to include because they were sort of the same brands as some of the ones I'm including, but I just thought, what the hey, I'll just include all of them and do a top ten blushes. So these are my sort of ten most worn and sort of favourite blushes at the moment. There's some creams and some powders, and yeah, so I'm really excited to share you, share them with you all. And these are in no particular order, I'm just going to do creams first and then powders. And I have three cream blushes to show you. The first one is by Kevin O'Quan, and I think that's how you say it. I keep hearing that it might be Kevin O'Coin or something, but I'm just going to say Kevin O'Quan. And it's one of their, the Creamy Glow blushes, and this is the shade Liquid Fuchsia. And I think I've shown this before, it's such a, such a bright pink. It's literally just like neon fuchsia pink, and I love it. It doesn't come out just as bright as it is in the pan it's just sort of like a wash of bright pink which really perks up your complexion and just I just love it paired with like a bright lip because it just really completes the whole look so yeah I really love this blush it's a great formula it's very creamy and it applies really nicely and I just find it lasts on my cheeks for a very long time and where it's a cream blush I do find it quite easy to top up so yeah I really recommend this I think it was 18 pounds which is quite expensive for a blush but I find that cream blushes do last a long time and you don't need that much to get a good colour so this will last a long time before it runs out. The next two are both by Stila and this is where I was thinking I don't know whether to include one of them but I do love them both equally and for different reasons and so the first one is Petunia and it's one of the Stila convertible colours and if I can open it it's this lovely sort of corally pink colour. I was going to get Gerbera instead but I'm very happy that I got Petunia because it's sort of the perfect colour for me. It's sort of like a peachy corally pink which is just really fresh and summery and I just love applying this just to sort of perk up my complexion but I use it mostly on days when I don't want to wear much makeup. I did use it in my five product face if you want to go check that out I'll leave the link in the down bar and I do love the formula of these. I do find they last a very long time and they leave a really lovely sheen on your cheek so you just look very glowy and healthy and this is a really lovely shade I think for pale skins or darker skins maybe not much darker than me or it might look a bit light on your skin but I do think it's a perfect summer blush for most people the next one is Gladiola and it's a really really bright orange I do love my bright cream blushes because I find that you can just apply much less of them as a wash rather than having to build them up because they do last a lot longer that way and yeah you don't go through them as quickly and yeah so I really really like this blush it is a bright orange but it comes off on the cheeks as more of a peachy orange I would say it's just a really lovely colour to wear with sort of bright orange lips or coral, coral lips or even nude lips I do really like it like that and I think I really do actually like it with red as well it just looks really nice with most colours and I just think it really works I think orange or peach or coral are like my favourite shades for my skin tone in particular and I just, I, yeah I really like this blush and there's not much to say it's the same formula and everything as the other Stila one I mentioned but just orange so yeah I just really love this formula I do have two others but they're more wintry shades so I'm not including them because I don't wear them as much at the moment but these three cream blushes are my favourite cream blushes to wear and the next blushes are all powders and I do have a fair few, three of them are NARS and two of them are MAC so yeah I really don't do like the formulas, oh my god my voice, I really do like the formulas of the NARS blushes and my favourite all time NARS blush is Gina and it's the one I'm wearing today and it looks like this and it's just sort of a true peach colour, it's the perfect summer blush for me because I love wearing peachy colours on my cheeks especially if I'm wearing like a nude lip or something like that and it's just very it's not subtle but it's very easy to wear and it just blends really nicely into my foundation I don't feel like I have to powder first some powder blushes I feel like I have to powder before I use them otherwise they go blotchy but this one just glides on really lovely and the colour stays put for a long time and I just find that it just can be applied to any makeup look and just sort of complete it so I really like this blush and I really recommend it and they are £21 but I do think they're worth it 
And the next NARS blush is quite new to me. I don't know whether I included it in a haul. I think I did, but it's NARS Dusa, and I think that's how you say it. And it's just this really lovely sort of mauvey, pinky brown colour, and it's just very subtle. And I really like it just to apply to my cheeks if I don't want to wear bronzer or anything, just to sort of slightly contour but add a bit of colour as well. And I feel it's really lovely and really natural. And I think this would suit really pale skins as well. And I just think it's a really lovely universal colour to sort of warm up your face and give it a bit of shape and definition, but still add a touch of colour. So it's a very good sort of two-in-one product because you don't have to use a contour and a blush. Uh, and I do find it lasts a very long time on my cheeks. I was surprised at how long it lasted. It lasted about 10 hours and that's that's a very long time for me because I only ever wear my makeup for like 10 hours. So I am really impressed with this blush. The next NARS blush is a bit of a weird one for me. I don't know why I bought it, but I was really intrigued by it. And it's called Matter Harry, and it's this really bright sort of bubblegum pink, and that's not my colour at all. I never wear this kind of colour, but surprisingly, I actually love this. It's really lovely. It's very similar on the cheeks to Liquid Fuchsia, but just sort of less dark and fuchsia. It is sort of the same brightness of pink, but just a little bit lighter and a little bit more subtle, I guess. It just just looks sort of like a flush of colour to your cheeks and it just looks very rosy and lovely and it just really perks up my complexion again. All of these just sort of perk up my complexion. I don't really like sort of properly standy out blushes that are very dark and things like that. I just like things that look very pretty and springy at the moment. So yeah, I really like this blush. Again, it lasts a long time like all NARS blushes and it's a really lovely colour. I like wearing this more with sort of pink lipsticks and things like that just to sort of tie it in. And yeah, so that's a really lovely blush. And those are the NARS ones that I really like at the moment. And then next I'll show you the MAC blushes, which I'm loving at the moment. And the first one, which I really enjoy wearing, is Desert Rose. And it's this really lovely colour. It is sort of like a dusty rose colour, as it says. And it's very pigmented. And it's just sort of like a deeper, more muted pink, which I like to wear with sort of any lipstick really, it goes well with sort of peachy lipsticks or nude lipsticks and it's just really nice, very subtle makeup look or something very simple. I like this with a smoky eye because it's just a really nice pink colour but it's not too in your face and it just sort of ties everything together really nicely and yeah I definitely recommend this blush. I think it would work well on most skin colours to be honest and yeah. And the next blush from MAC is Breath of Plum, and I don't know why I hesitated there, but it's this colour. It is sort of a lilac-y, plummy pink colour, and it is very sheer when you apply it. It's a sheer tone blush, so it is very sheer, but I do like that. It just makes... It's very unique, I find. It makes my cheeks look very nice. I don't know what else to describe it as. It isn't purple or pink. It just makes my cheeks look very nice. And so, yeah, there's not much I can say about this. I can't really describe the colour. I'm going to do a blog post review on it so you can see pictures of it on. I'll try and swatch it for you. I don't know if you can see on my hand, but that's it swatched. It's just sort of very lovely. It is pinky purple like in the pan, but it's just very sheer and it adds sort of a bit of life into your cheeks. It doesn't really look like a blush. It just looks like you have a bit of colour in your cheeks, but it's very unique because there is a purple tint to it. So yeah, I really love that blush at the moment and I find myself wearing it a lot even though it is quite sheer. And the last two are sort of shimmery blushes, which is why I left them until the end because they're the only sort of shimmery blushes which I like at the moment. And the first one is Bella Bamba by Benefit and it's one of their box blushes and yeah, I really like the packaging. It's very vibrant. I do wish it was sort of in a pan though because it's very hard to travel with and yeah, this is the colour. It's sort of similar to NARS Orgasm but... I don't have that so I can't really compare them but it does look very similar in the pan and it's just sort of a peachy pink with a lot of gold shimmer running through it but on the cheeks it doesn't really look glittery, it just looks like a sheen. My nose is getting redder and redder throughout this video, I'm sorry, I think I have hay fever or something, I don't know what it is, I do have hay fever but it's not even hot or anything at the moment and I'm inside, it must be the dust or something. But anyway, yeah this is Bella Bamba and it doesn't really come out shimmery on your cheeks, it just comes out like a sheen which I like because I don't like shimmery glittery blushes but I really like this when I do a heavy contour and highlight look because it just ties them together without making things look too matte or too shimmery, it just sort of sits somewhere in the middle just tying everything together and being really lovely and peachy and yeah so I really like this, I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a peachy pinky blush but don't really like NARS Orgasm or just want to try something different. So yeah, I really like that and I only really wear it when I do heavy contouring and highlighting but I do do that 
quite a lot at the weekends and things like that. And the final blush is by Topshop and it's probably the most affordable out of all of them as it was only £10 which I think is really good for the amount of product you get and you'll see that in a minute. And it's one of their cheek duos and it's in Desert Sun and it just looks like this and it's sort of like the bronzer and the blush and it's sort of very baked and marbled and lovely and you can't really use the bronzer as a bronzer because it's very golden and shimmery but it is really nice for warming up the face and I love it if I'm doing a really bronzed summery look. And then the cheek colour is sort of like a pinky corally shade which I really like and I swirl them together the most of the time and then apply it sort of to my cheekbones where I usually apply my blush and then take the golden shade and just sort of swirl it in a three like that and I just find it really warms up my face and adds a bit of colour and it also contours a little bit I don't know how it does it because these aren't very dark shades but it does contour my cheeks a little bit when I wear it and I used a angled blush brush from MAC to apply it and I find that works best to sort of put it exactly where I want it so yeah I really like this blush and I will be doing a review of the Topshop makeup which I own shortly on my blog so check that out and you can see pictures of this on so yeah, those were all my favourite blushes, that's my top 10. They are a bit more expensive, but I do think they're worth it. I'm not too much of a fan of drugstore blushes, I'm not really sure why, but I never find that they're very pigmented, except on sleek, but I don't have really any summery sleek blushes, so I'm going to have to invest in some. I'm definitely looking at the 3 blush palette, the candy one, which was out recently, so I might be including that in a haul soon if I do decide to get it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know your favourite blushes in the comments section and all these blushes will be listed in the down bar along with my links and the blog posts mentioned and I will be doing reviews of some of these blushes so if those reviews are up by the time this video is up then I will put them in the down bar as well. So like this video if you like it and leave any questions in the comments as well, I don't know if I said that. And let me know whether you like my videos more zoomed in like this or more zoomed out because I'm not really sure at the moment. And I'd like to hear your opinions. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to see more of my videos and I'll see you soon. Bye.